Hello researchers, I'm Ryan and today I'm delighted to show you how you can find research gaps, literature reviews, the exact papers you want and all the citations that you need in the world super accurately with AI and of course I'm talking about Answer This. Now when you just sign up or sign in to Answer This you'll be greeted with this page. Of course we have our prompt in the middle we have different buttons we can click as well as the prompt helper at the bottom. Now, if we go into the prompt helper, we'll see these different options that we have. We can create a literature review. We can find research gaps. We can generate a research outline as well. For now, let's just do a literature review. And now we'll be prompted to type in our research area. So I'll just say atomic structures, press create. And just like that, we have our prompt made. Now now, if we look at the bottom, we can actually select a different type of model that we'd like Answer This to use. Of course, we have our base model, which is the auto feature. We also have full review, which gives comprehensive answers with lots of back citations. And we also have the quick Q&A, which is great for research specific questions, like if you're trying to get gaps in research or if you're trying to make a research outline very quickly, this is a great way to do it. And also for more broad research questions that you may have. For now, I'm gonna press full review. Next, we can select the different sources we'd like to use. There's papers, you can select internet as well. You can choose your library or you can upload your PDF, which will look something like this. From here, we can select the PDFs and research papers that we'd like answer this to answer our questions with. The light mode is available for all users and is super accurate and will get you lots of citations for your questions. And we also have the pro mode, which is another model that we have, which is a lot more advanced if we want to take our research to the next level. Finally, there's more filters. Once we select here, we can change the minimum amount of citations that we'd like our research papers to have. We can also change the database that answer this pulls from for its sources. Now we have research papers. If we click to the right of here, we can see Semantic Scholar, Open Alex, PubMed, and ArcSave, all as options that we can choose. For now, I'm just gonna select all of them. We also have web search. We can select to have only government or EDU pages um, searched across, or if we want to get sources from all across the internet, we can select all websites as well. Finally, we have patents and my library, uh, which we can also extract from. The best thing about these sources is it's updated every day. So we get the freshest information all the time. Next, we can adjust the journal quality. Of course, Q1 being the highest quality, Q4 being the lowest quality. We can also select all journals if we want to find every paper related to our question. And finally, at the bottom here, we can select the publication date. So the start date being the start date of when the paper was published. So if we select 2023, January, it will extract papers from 2023 and onwards. And we can also select an end date if we wish as well. Now, once we hit submit search, we'll be greeted with an answer that looks something like this. On the left hand side, we have the direct answer to your question. On the right hand side, we have the different papers that were used for this answer. Now, if we scroll down, we'll notice that we see all the citations noted out here. It's almost line by line. Look at all the different research papers it used. It goes in depth on answering my question and making a literature review. And if we scroll to the bottom here, we can see all the different citations um, for each of the papers that were used. And at the very bottom, we have this little section. Now, with this draft paper that answer this made, we can select the edit with AI option. This brings us to a Word doc like interface where we can edit our text. We can add in citations from our library or uploaded PDFs or even from searching papers. And we can also edit the text with AI as well. It's a super powerful tool and I highly recommend to use it. We can also share privately if we want to share with a peer or maybe a mentor. We can go ahead and we can copy the link to our answer. We can also share publicly if we want to share to a more broad audience. And we can also copy our answer. Doing this, we'll copy the text to our clipboard and we can paste that anywhere. And we can also save the answer as PDF, docx, or as a markdown file as well. Now, if we scroll back up a little bit, we can see this change citation style option as well at the top of our citation list. If we click here, we can change to some of the popular citations like APA, MLA, Chicago, 
And if we scroll over the bottom, we can also see all the different styles that answer this has the offer. So if you just search your citation style, the chances are that it's gonna be here. Now, if we go ahead and select APA, as you can see on the right hand side, all the sources were updated. If we scroll up, it's also an APA format. If we choose to click on any of these papers, say there's a very interesting piece of text, we wanna see where it had come from. We can just select this paper. It'll scroll down on the right hand side to where this paper is located. From here, we're able to see this abstract of the paper. We're able to save it to our library if we wish. We can also refine the citation here. And if we want to chat with this document directly, we can go ahead and press chat with paper as well since it is since it has PDF available. Now, whilst we're here on the right hand side, if we scroll to the top, we can see these different options in the menu. And actually, if we go to the top right and see these two arrows, we can click this, expand the research sources question, uh, research sources section, and we can play around with this a little bit. The first we can think, the first thing that we can do is press table view, which will bring uh, all the sources to something like this. As you can see, we have source information, relevant extracts, and on the right hand side here, we can actually create more columns with information. We can select these pre-made prompts like research gaps, methodology, future work, if we wanna extract that data from the sources. And if that's not enough, we can actually go ahead and select a prompt um, ourselves and extract that from the papers. For now, let's press research gaps and see what happens. And just like that, we see the research gaps column has been filled in. And if we go through here, we can see the different research gaps that answer this identified within the paper. And we can see that for any paper that is listed. Now, if we press list view again, it'll take us back to this view that we had before. Now, from here, we can also sort the papers. We can sort them by date by selecting here. Now, since we did have those search filters of starting from January 2023, just as we'd expect, our first source is very early on from January 2023. We can also sort it by citations as well to see the most cited sources. Now, I say we are looking at this and we made our table with research gaps and we want to export that. We can export that exact table using export to CSV here, or we can export it to our Sotero or Mendeley or whatever we need by exporting it to bid text as well. And if we scroll down, we can see that only 10 papers were listed. There's 13 pages worth of those 10 papers. So there's 130 something papers here. We can see more of these papers by selecting show and then go to 50. And now we can see 50 papers all listed here as well. The last thing I highly recommend for you to experiment with is by selecting all and then pressing bibliometric analysis, you'll be able to see graphs with citations, publication dates, and who was a top contributing author in this space, as well as see word, as well as see word clouds and so many other different cool graphs. So highly recommend pressing here, but for now, let's expand out and scroll to the bottom of this left-hand side. And also we can expand this as well if we wish. And as you can see, we have this ask follow-up question on the bottom here. So say we want to make a table or we want to dive more deeply into this research topic, we can ask a follow-up question and answer this will rerun the query, find new papers and answer your question again. Additionally, if we scroll to the very bottom, we see this filter section, we can change the filters, uh, change the different databases that were used and go ahead and put in your prompt and ask a question again. And if you wanna see more research tips and guides like this, feel free to head over to the Answer This YouTube channel where you can find plenty of resources just like this video. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching again.